For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. This is a good old fashioned root wash. It's been happening near Illinois cornfields for decades. It's not fun, or at least not very much. It's really hard work and done for a reason. This annual ritual that begins to take place about mid-July is one that, as you said, uh, has, has gone on for decades. Uh, it sort of gets uh, in your bloodstream, if you will, but we look forward to that every year, believe it or not. But more importantly, we look forward to sharing that information with our stakeholders and clientele producers uh, throughout not just Illinois, but the Midwest. Well, the information collected is about the western corn rootworm. And more importantly, how the products farmers use to control the insect are working in the field. The roots, washed and cleaned, are evaluated for damage. Those evaluations are compiled in a report called On Target. And this is an online report where you can not only get information about the current root rating uh, process and the results, you can also go back all the way to the early 2000s and see how different products uh, held up year in and year out. On Target is available for download from the University of Illinois Department of Crop Sciences. It summarizes what the root wash showed about how the products performed in different areas of the state. Each year we put out four standard experiments that include a pretty significant variety of different Bt hybrids as well as soil insecticides. In some cases, soil insecticides on top of Bt hybrids. Uh, our primary locations include DeKalb, uh, here in Urbana on the Ag Engineering Farm, over in Monmouth, northwestern Illinois, and over in western Illinois uh, near Perry. Those are our four standard locations. The roots, dug up and washed, provide the base from which the trial determines how well a product protected the corn plant from the western corn rootworm. The trials go to yield to determine the impact of that protection. So we look at root ratings and yield, not just for the current growing season, but for many growing seasons. Producers hopefully will look at that information. Uh, we, we take great pride in putting out this unbiased research-based information. It should give them a pretty good feel for how different products have held up and help them make some decisions as they head into the next growing season. And that's the point of this annual University of Illinois summer event. The researchers and their staff set up the experiment, do the work, rate the roots, compile the numbers, and provide farmers with information they can use to make good decisions about how to control one of the most costly insect pests of corn. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.